Hi guys, today we are going to be doing princess themed nails. I'm not going to say which princess because of copyrights, but you guys will get the picture by the end. Let's just say under the sea themed. Um, I'm going to be using the Color Punch collection from Mia Secret. Um, I think this is Martini Blue. And I'm also going to be using their Plum. And of course my favorite red from SM Nail Candy, the Red Apple. Right now I'm just going to do like a purple to this kind of teal ombre on the first finger. I, I kind of just went through and found all the colors that uh, that that reminded me of, of of this princess and threw them all together and just kind of went with it and I didn't really have a plan when I started so this is just totally off the cuff. I was just throwing them together to see what happens. Um, so. I've already done all of my prep work and, and laid down my clear acrylic and, and whatnot because you know, nobody wants to watch that. That's an extra 20 minutes, so. Normally, normally I'm a fan of Mia Secret. The Color Punch collection, though, it seems really papery almost to me. I'm not a huge fan of it. I love the colors. They're super vibrant, but it lays really weird, so unless I absolutely need it, I haven't really been using it, but the colors are just gorgeous. So we're just going to watch me ombre for a little bit and then um, I'm not I'm not going to show every single finger because I did a purple to red ombre on the middle finger and then over both of them I put like a sheer purple glitter acrylic And then on the ring finger, I just did it solid teal uh, and added a seashell and a, a star for a starfish. And then I threw some decals on and the pinky finger, I actually end up doing a, sort of a profile of copper hair and pink skin and just sort of the impression of a profile more than anything. I didn't actually put a face on it. We're going to go ahead and finish up our ombre here. I'm still still not great at that, but that's okay. I can hide it. I can hide the imperfections, and that's all that matters. So you're going to watch me struggle with this for a while. Or you could just turn the sound off. That's, that's always an option. So we're going to go ahead and skip ahead. Um, I think we're going to skip to the ring finger. You can see I've done the purple to red ombre on the middle finger and I've already covered the ring finger so we're going to go ahead and skip to the pinky. This one was really interesting because I wasn't really sure what I was doing here when I started it and then it just kind of came about. Like, I had sketched some ideas out ahead of time, but I ended up not doing really any of them. Oh, I skipped the part where I put the glitter over, but I just did a really, really thin layer of clear acrylic with purple glitter in it. So I guess what I'm going for here is kind of a bang look, like the side of a, a face. Um, I'm using the red apple from SM Nail Candy, which is like my favorite red ever. I'm wearing it right now. I'm wearing it in the video. Uh, it's, it's the one that's on my left hand. I'll link it down in the description for you guys, because seriously, it's, it, it, it's beautiful. I think the camera doesn't really capture how red it is and it's not really orange so that's it doesn't have that orange red it's a it's a really nice blue red so I'm gonna cut out the the profile I like to use the exacto knife because it gives me that nice wall for the other color to butt up against that way it doesn't kind of bleed into each other so I just cut that out and then let it dry all the way and then add my other color and then I file it down I 
I'm also going to fix some mistakes. <laughs> May as well while I'm there. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my pink, which is cotton candy cover pink um, that I'm going to use for the face, which is also from SM Nail Candy. Uh, it's just a cover pink. It's not really too pinky. It's got a nice, almost like a cartoon skin tone. I love it. It's it's really subtle. It's not very, it's not really bright, but it's also not white, you know? It's not too pale. And I'm using my Panna number 12 on this. I probably should have went smaller, but... Now I'm going to go ahead and add my pink. This is that cotton candy cover pink from SM Nail Candy. And you're just going to fill in the extra space here. Just make sure you push it all the way up against that red so there aren't any spots or dips and make sure it's even an even height all the way down. It doesn't matter if it overlaps a little bit because you're going to file it down. So as long as it's not filling in any spaces or anything, you're fine because you're going to file it down so it's all even anyway. There we go. Now let's skip ahead. Now I'm um, finishing up, I added a little more of the teal here so that I can add the seashell. Um, I want it to stick to something and I don't trust the glue or top coat, so I'm going to go ahead and that hair gave me so much trouble. Now with the acrylic still wet, I'm going to go ahead and add the seashell to the ring finger. Then I'm going to let that set and dry, and then I am going to basically encapsulate it, which can encapsulate it totally because the seashell is a little bigger, but you want to build the clear acrylic up around the edges so that it doesn't come off or get snagged. You want it to be as flush as you can while covering it, that way it doesn't snag on your hair or whatever. So now we're going to go ahead and build that clear up. You want to get it right up right up the edges of it and then just a thin layer over it so it is basically encapsulated. This is my first time working with seashells so I was pretty excited. You want to make sure that it tapers down, don't leave it that same thickness as it is by the, she by the seashell all the way to the tip or you're going to have one big, big nail. <laughs> The same thing from behind, just bring it right up to it, just a little thin layer over top of it, and that should encapsulate it just right. I'm just about done with that. Never really look like the whole time I'm doing this, I'm like, oh, this looks like crap, this looks like crap, this looks like crap. But somehow in the end it comes together and it still kind of looks like crap, but I was pretty happy with it, so not as crappy as I thought it would be. Now I get why they say trust the process, because it never looks good during. Like it never looks good while you're building it up. It's weird. Just about finished with this one. 
Then we are going to go ahead and skip ahead. Not a fan of Model 1's clear. Just not a big fan. I hate it. Always gunks up my brush. I'm going to go ahead and cap everything in clear. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that because you guys know how to do that. It's so boring. And then we will move ahead to filing that pinky. Once we're done. Once we're done with this. Now you want to take your sanding band and file down right along that line so you get a nice clean edge, which mine wasn't exactly clean because I wanted to give the impression of hair. It came out okay. Plus for whatever reason I find if you file along the line that way it kind of it just gives it that impression of movement. I don't know why. It leaves that, it makes that curve stand out a lot more if you file just along the same line with the same motion that you laid it in. It's weird. Now we're going to go ahead and file the seashell one. This one's a little more difficult because you you got to be careful how you file around it. So just take the edge of your sanding band and work right up to it. And then you can just buff the rest. <clears throat> now we are going to go ahead and do our filing. Not really a whole lot to show here. You guys know how to file. Now we're going to go ahead and, after, now that we've finished buffing everything, I am going to, I laid some more clear acrylic because I am going to put some reddish copper, well it was red glitter, and lay it down along the hair. Um, it was red, but for whatever reason, the acrylic that I laid over it made it turn kind of a coppery color, which worked out great. Um, not what I intended, but it actually was perfect for what I wanted. So I just... I'm not, I'm probably not doing this the right way, but I just laid a thin layer of clear acrylic down and then stuck the glitter to it with my brush and then capped it in clear. That way I don't have a lot of, you know, glitter fallout everywhere. And then I didn't have to like dump it on it or anything. Again, like I said, that's probably not the right way to do it, but that's what I ended up doing. Then, now when you file this, you don't want to file it down too much because, like I said, that glitter's right underneath there. Um, just make sure you cap it in enough that you can file it and even it out. Now I'm going to go ahead and lay down my little star for a starfish here. Add a little bit more clear acrylic just to hold it down. And then I'm going to use top coat to hold it on or yeah actually I think I, I used top coat yeah <laughs> I laid top coat down stuck it to it cured it and then covered it in top coat because it's kind of bulky and and I don't want to come it off now I am going to top coat everything good because I've already done my wipe down and and all that buffed, wiped it down with acetone so everything's nice and smooth. I'm going to go ahead and top coat it all and add my decals because I decided to put a little seahorse here 
it's just a water decal, a water slide. Um, I go ahead, cut that out, get it wet, um, add a little bit of top coat to the red part of the middle finger, stick it to that, cure it, top coat it again. I use top coat for everything. There's something wrong with me. Make sure you, you you press it down nice and even and there aren't any edges sticking up or anything like that. Otherwise the top coat will catch on it and then you won't have a nice flush surface. So I'm going to go ahead and use my little UV flashlight to spot cure that. It's really handy for little stuff like this. Then I'm going to go ahead and top coat everything. And then once I'm done with that, we'll go ahead and cure it all, and you can see the finished product. Making sure there's no glitter poking up. <laughs> and I'm using <coughs> the Markart No Wipe Top Coat. So far, that's my favorite. I like not having to wipe down afterwards. And make sure you do enough do thin layers so it doesn't wrinkle, but enough that it holds your decal down, so do two layers if you have to. And this is the finished product. I don't know. I'm happy with how it turned out. It's very reminiscent of an underwater princess. <laughs> if you guys have any questions, let me know. Thank you.